Welcome to the Dog Pass Show. Today we're talking about French Bulldogs, also known as Frenchies. And we have Christy on the show today. She is a volunteer at French Bulldog Rescue Network. They cover all of the United States as well as Canada. Christy's going to be telling us all about this awesome breed. I'm Christy Ralph. I'm a volunteer for FBRN. I have one Frenchie, um, Sullivan, um, <laughs> 12. They are very adaptable. They're very playful. They're very alert. They don't require a lot of exercise. If you're a runner or you want a dog for jogging or going on hikes, they're not the dog for you. They don't do well in heat or cold. You know, a lot of them prefer just to sit on the couch with you. So they're great for that kind of lifestyle. They like their people. They like to be with their people. They are very smart, also very stubborn. So you need to have some patience. You will go for walks, but if you walk too far, you're going to have to carry them back with you. If you love cuddling and snuggling, they're just, they're just really irresistible. So there are standard colors um, from the American Kennel Club. Cream, brindle, which is black and brown mix. Fawn, white, and I'm missing one. Oh, pied, which is white with brindle. Right now, there are a lot of fad or designer colors. Christy also warns about designer colors. A lot of backyard breeders are making odd colors using inbreeding and other techniques. If you see a lavender dog for sale, if you see a micro French Bulldog for sale, these are often dogs with more health issues. And as you can see in this listing, I found prices can be pretty outrageous. And a lot of these websites will use advertising that includes a lot of impulse by language. So really you're, you're playing with fire and you're paying more for a dog that is probably gonna have more health problems. So, you know, buyer beware on those, like, they have a lot of respiratory problems, so their nostrils are very small, so they have to have surgery a lot of times. To either enlarge their nostrils or um, they'll, their soft palate to unobstruct their airways. So if you see or hear your dog snoring or snorting, it's a sign that they're having trouble breathing. So especially in the heat, it can be life-threatening. Like it's not, you know, something to, to joke about. They can have something called intervertebral disc degeneration. It just means that the discs compact over time, they get hard. But in severe cases, they can become paralyzed. Frenchies with disc degeneration, they simply need a forever home that is special and patient. Though disc degeneration can sometimes just happen, preventative measures may include not letting your French Bulldog jump on and off furniture. There's all sorts of ramps and stairs available. French Bulldogs also suffer from allergies, skin allergies. Uh, here's Justice at the French Bulldog Rescue Network who they are currently treating and, and helping get him over his allergies. His allergies were left untreated, obviously, to a severe degree, so they had to step in and, and save this dog. They can have quite a few um, health problems, which are a lot of the hereditary and then some, you know, are environmental. So I would highly recommend pet insurance. It's fascinating hearing that, um, uh, Christy, because it sounds very similar to a pug. Very similar to a pug. Uh, yeah. Nasal surgery. Um. They're both, um, bra like it's hard to say, breast, brachycephal cephalic, I think it is, just called bracky breeds. So anything with a smoosh face, boxers, you know, English Bulldogs, Pugs, Boston Terriers, you know, they all have like that um, smoosh face, makes it, you know, more difficult for them to read. Not all of them, obviously, but a lot of them. They started in 19th century Northern England. They were the mascot of lace makers in Nottingham. And when those trees people moved to France, they took the dogs with them. And at that point they were just toy bulldogs. And so they were bred with like Spanish bulldogs to become Frenchies or Bulldog Francois. Then they were brought over to the States. They were first shown at Westminster in 1896. In 1898, uh, the French Bulldog Club had their first show and they became very popular then. They're enjoying their popularity again right now. 
Obviously, you're giving a Frenchie a second chance at a home, a forever home. You will get a dog that's spayed or neutered, so you're saving a cost on that. You know what you're going to get because the rescue will be upfront about what medical issues that they have or any other problems such as separation anxiety or social anxiety or you know if they're good with kids if they're good with dogs if they're good with cats or not good with any of those things so you really know what you're going to be getting we're a charity that relies solely on donations but given the tough times that everybody are, are having right now there are many ways to help us if you're doing online shopping we're a member of the amazon smile we have several seasonal auctions one is coming up next month instagram facebook and twitter so sharing Engaging with us and sharing our, our pages um, doesn't cost anything. We want everybody to have a healthy and happy puppy or adult. And, you know, we want to do everything to get them into their, their homes. I want to thank Christy for being on the show today. And a big shout out to their organization, the French Bulldog Rescue Network. What a great group. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We're going to see you next time. Thanks.